Let's face it, C++ is great. You can manage resources more efficiently than you can in C Sharp sometimes. And there's even some libraries out there that are only written in C++. So there is some times where you might find that you really need to use C++ along with your project. Now how can you do this in a C Sharp application? Well there's actually a method out there called pinvoke. And that is exactly what we're going to cover in this tutorial. Now in this episode, we're just going to be doing a simple Hello World application. So we're going to have a C++ DLL that's going to print Hello World to the console. And then we're just going to call that function from a C Sharp console application. So first thing we want to do is let's create a new project. It's going to be a C++ empty project. And we'll just call it native library. There we go, and we're going to actually delete all these little folders here. And first thing we want to do with this library is go to the properties, and let's set the platform to x64, and we'll go de debug mode. And the most important thing we need to do is switch this configuration type from application to DLL, because p invoking requires a DLL. That's how, it, that's how it all works. Okay, so we're gonna apply all that and let's create our class. We're just gonna be doing a simple CPP file. Not gonna be messing with like headers or anything. I'm gonna try and make this as simple as possible. So just create source.cpp and in here we're just gonna have a hello world function. So we're gonna say void hello world and we're just going to call the standard library character output and we'll say hello world and then for that we're also going to have to include io stream so we can use c out so that's what we're going to do for our native library right now let's go ahead and create our c sharp console application you can do .NET Framework, we're going to do .NET Core because we're cool. And we'll just call this console application. Alright, so let's set this as our startup project. And we're going to right click this, go to your build dependencies, project dependencies, and make sure you click off native library so that this will build whenever you build the console application as well. So for this let's also switch to x64 because that's what we configured here. We want a DLL whenever it's x64. You should probably do all platforms actually and make this a DLL all the time. And you can also do all configurations here. because We just always want a DLL. I should have done this from the start but there we go. So now let's give this a build and you should be building your native library and you should build your console application. And let's start getting into pinvoke. So the first place I want to start is our source.cpp. What we want to do here is we want to expose this function in our DLL so that our console application can access that. And to do that we just need to define a line up here, we're going to say x turn c. We're going to declare specifier as we're going to declare this as a DLL export. And then what are we exporting? We're exporting our hello world function. So, what does this x turn c do? It basically just says, hey, C, don't mangle this function name because. If it gets mangled, then we're not going to know how to call it in our console application. So that is actually all we need to do in source.cpp. So we can go back to our program.cs. And up here, I'm going to do a DLL import. And we're going to be importing from native library.dll. I'm going to have to import a using statement here, interrupt services. And then underneath this 
little decorator we have, we can say public static extern. All DLL imports need to be static extern. And then we're just going to define the function that we are importing from our DLL. And this name should match this name here. Same with the signature too. It needs to be void hello world here, here, and here if you want to if you want things to work. So now let's go ahead and give this a shot. Let's just say hello world. And we're going to delete that. And we'll say console.readline so we can see the output. And if we run this, it's actually not going to work. And that is because we cannot find the DLL. Where the heck is it? Well, if you go to your solution, we see, a, we, see a, we have this x64 file, which is our configuration platform right now. So you click that, we're in debug mode, and there is the DLL. So what we have to do is let's copy this, go back to your solution, and we're just going to place it in the bin of our console application. And so now, the DLL is where our console application is. And let's give this a shot now. And there we go, hello world. So that's really annoying to have to copy the DLL over to the console application bin every single time. So what you can do is you can go to your properties for your native library. We're going to go to all configurations, all platforms, and we're going to edit this output directory. And we want it to go to First, we're going to put it in our solution directory. We're going to put it in a folder called bin, or I mean build, and then we'll put it in a folder depending on the platform and the configuration. So here's an example down here, and we'll just apply that. So now let's go to our console application, and we're going to go to all configurations, any CPU, and we're going to set the output path again to the same thing that we had before and you can save that and first another thing we want to do is let's actually go to our configuration manager and we want to add another platform for a console application and this is going to be x64 so we want both of these to go into the x64 directory we want them to be on the same platform as well so we can close out of that and let's go ahead and run this and it actually is not going to work it can't find the DLL and why is this well let's go into our solution directory let's go to our build folder we're in x64 right now debug and for some reason it puts all these C sharp .NET Core applications into this little netcore app 3.0 folder which is kind of annoying because we didn't really specify that in our output directory but basically what you can do is you can click on your console application and you get this little csproj file to pop up and up here you can say append target framework to output path false so now if we run this We get hello world. You can go ahead, you can say hello world and build again and it automatically puts everything in the right directory. So that's going to do it for this episode. Just a simple p invoke tutorial. We did a little hello world function. We exported it. We made it accessible in our DLL to the console application and then we imported the function from our DLL and called it in C Sharp. Very simple. We're going to be doing some more advanced stuff with this in the future, like passing parameters. But this was just a quick start, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like or subscribe for more.